Convicting Trump The Washington Post dated August 2, 2023. Heart of the Trump January 6 indictment. This is according to the Washington Post. Donald Trump's trial for allegedly conspiring to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election may hinge on how much he believes his own false claims. The 45-page indictment, filed Tuesday, lays out the myriad ways Trump allegedly lied about mass voter fraud and tried to use those claims to get state, local, and federal officials to change results to declare him the winner. Central to special counsel Jack Smith's case is the accusation that Trump knew his claims were lies. These claims were false and the defendant knew they were false. The indictment's first page declares Michigan Secretary of State official caught on video telling volunteers to count multiple ballots with the very same signature during audit of votes in Antrim County. We don't know what to count here. These are these are tests. Yes. Okay, and nothing in these. Right. Um, yeah, the, um, when we do our review, when Tina and I do ours, we'll be looking at those. Potentially. We'll be looking at those. Um, this. But you don't. Yes. We don't need to look at that. And we're not counting any of these. And these are empty out. Yes. Okay. Can you just stack them on the floor right here? These are empty envelopes. Well, don't. Okay, right. Here's these then. Put these back there. These must just be unvoted ballots, the ones that already have a tab, that still have a tab on them, or ballots that weren't used. So are there any ballots in here? Down in the bottom. I think they're underneath. Yep, yeah. down in the bottom. <laughs> okay. Of course. So when you're going through and you find one that has that red on it or still has that number tab, that was not put through the tab. Okay. And they're probably right on the very top. Well, just make sure they are. Yeah, we want to look to make sure that we're going to get back to that. Okay, okay. No, no, I think we have a calculator. I think we reached. No, I think we've got, we, we've hit hot pay dirt. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> where, where is this? This is Mancelona. Mancelona. Precinct 1. Precinct 1. Okay. This is crazy. All right, so John, what we need to do now... You want, let's put, you want to put this in the middle of our and then we can yeah. pull them out? The tags. The tags, yeah. Okay. And, but these are actual ballots. These are ballots. These and are they ballots. were all in the spoiled ballot bag. Ballot bag. Is that right? Yeah, well, that's what this was mine. There you go. In this video, the SOS official can be seen telling volunteers who are objecting to adding the ballots in question to the vote total, this is not an investigation now. With this this is not an investigation right now. This is a valid. Because if we don't have the counts, then we can't move forward. And we understand that there is a concern with this precinct. But this is not a time for you to be investigating right now. Did you this find is a time else? for you. No. no. So you need to move forward with the audit so we can get the numbers, so we can see how many ballots are here. Mm -hmm. But we, and, Okay, so when we're done with the audit, there is still the opportunity to challenge the fact that we have multiple ballots with the very same signature. I, I don't know if challenge is the right word, but well, until we get... We're challenging we'll go ahead and count the ballots. Right. We, 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 need, we need you to move forward. But we will separate out and count those. And, and okay. those, we're, there's going to be a, an asterisk yeah. saying these ballots have the same okay. and, and again, we know that you have a concern with this precinct. And, and, and as soon, when you get done with the audit part of it, not an investigation, not counting, that's not, that's not your role right now, this very minute. 
So what I need you to do is complete the audit so we can get a number of how many ballots were in this can when you started counting, and we can move forward from there. Okay, so what I what I need for you guys to do right now is to finish the we'll audit process. We'll have a number. We'll have a number. We can't. Whether valid or invalid, we'll have that a is, number. That is not the process right now. The process right now is for you to put them in the piles where they belong and for the presidential vote and count the presidential votes. I, we understand that there, may, there is possibly an issue with this precinct. We, we understand that. But what I need for you to do right now is to finish the presidential race audit, not separate them out, and then we'll move forward from there. Okay, but I need you to continue the process right now, please. You realize that the former state representative has had issues with counting ballots that may be invalid. I understand, but until we get a count, we, we, we need that piece done first. We need the audit piece done first because that's why we're here. And we will look at the numbers. Okay? And, and I understand that there may be an issue. And I understand your concerns. So if we can complete the audit piece right now, okay. then we can move forward, okay? Thank you. Part of the Trump January 6th indictment is that Donald Trump lied about there being even a single case of fraud in the 2020 presidential election. Donald Trump only has to prove that there is one single case of fraud in that election for this entire case to be thrown out. South Carolina federal judge Obama appointee. A federal judge in South Carolina ruled Tuesday, this is dated October 27, 2020, that local election authorities cannot discard absentee ballots whose signatures do not match those on file. U.S. District Judge Richard Gurgle said that the signature authorization procedures being used by local officials were subjective. Convicting Donald Trump will require an emotional jury that hates Donald Trump as much as the prosecution team of Joe Biden hates Donald Trump. Whether they get Trump is irrelevant. The Democratic Party is attacking our country with these indictments, not Trump. And their target is the American people. Never forget that. Thank you.